To set up a project schedule, first find the list of products needed by your plan notes or legend. Then click on the product services icon on the upper left menu bar or go to file product service database to enter the database panel. To create a carpet product, right click on product services and select new folder and name it carpet. If you already have a carpet folder, right click on it and select new product. Give the new product a name and type, in this case Shaw Jargon and carpet. In the product details window, you can change the display color, unit of measure, roll length, and width, as well as the cost and sales price for your product. Repeat this process for vinyl products. Right-click on product services to create a new folder and name it vinyl. If you already have a vinyl folder in your database, right-click on it and select new product. Again, name the product, in this case, Accent, and select vinyl as the type. For this product, I will change the roll width to six feet, as well as set the cost and sales price. Next we will create tile product. Create a tile folder, or if you already have one, right click on it and create new product. Use the tile size in the product name to make it easier to know what size the tile is in your database. And set the product type as tile. In the product details, input the manufacturer of the material and the waste percentage. For this product, set the pricing as sell by box to set the quantity per box and cost sales price per box. Now to create rubber base. Create a wall base folder or if you already have a wall base folder, right click and select new product and name it rubber base with its type as wall base. The unit of measurement is linear feet or LF. Set the trade as accessory and the width as 4 inches. Now for the concrete, create a new folder as concrete and right click to create new product. Name it and select concrete as its type. Set the cost sales price and hit save. For the weld rod, right click on vinyl and create new product. Set the type as regular linear. Choose trade as vinyl and set its cost sales price. Select the is add-on checkbox before saving. We can then go back to our vinyl and click on the green plus in the add-on section to add the weld rod as an add-on and have the add-on method by seam length. This ensures the weld rod will be calculated based on the seam length of the vinyl. Now to add the labor charge to the database. Create a new folder labeled labor and create a new product within that folder. Name it and set the type as regular linear. Select labor as the trade. Set the unit as linear and set the cost and sales prices. Click save. We have now completed our product catalog.